Alright guys, uh, welcome. So we're just moments away from the second debate. Um, well, night two, precisely, because we've already had night one. And CNN has done an incredible job um, getting to what they've done. Like, if you look at the amount of speaking time that Warren and Sanders has gotten, they're both over 17 minutes, which is an incredible amount of time, considering night one, only two people got over 10 minutes, and night two, only Biden got over 13 minutes, and then Harris and Sanders got 11 minutes each. Well, just over 11. Um, so definitely, it's definitely going to be an interesting one. Um, so in terms of what we should expect for the second night, um, like this is like everyone got a, on, at least on average about 10 minutes, which is um, definitely more than what I thought everyone would get. I thought everyone would on average get about 7 minutes. Like, I thought Andrew Yang would have about 7 minutes, but now I'm thinking he's got a 10 minute window to really make a good impression. So, Andrew, do not waste it. Really make it, really, really make it count. Because this, you haven't made, like, he's still missing one poll, and, you know, so he's not guaranteed for the next debate. Um, I think he will get it, but if he makes a particularly good impression tonight, um, there's definitely a, a huge advantage for him going into the next debate. Uh, puts more pressure on the DNC to really not, you know, try to work against him. Because if you have a good advantage right now, um, you can get everyone on his side and everyone will try to help him as he goes on. But if, he's, if he doesn't have people on his side, the DNC or any other interests could actually step in and still potentially jeopardize um, his candidacy um, so definitely will be quite interesting what happens on the second night um, first night was quite interesting uh, Warren and Sanders were just basically tag teaming and just shooting the majority of the crowd down like the majority of the other candidates down the other candidates were clearly going after the top two um, so it was they were definitely doing a terrific job Particularly with um, shooting down Delaney, um, I thought, poor guy, like, he really got shot down each time. Um, but, you know, those are what debates are about. Um, particularly entertaining, I hope please, night two is even better. Like, I mean, it's for me, I think it's definitely going to be better. Because the one thing we're not going to be hearing, um, that we didn't hear in night one, is we're going to hear a lot of policies, and it's really going to be refreshing, everyone's going to love it, you're going to hear so many policies, particularly with 10 minutes, if you've got 10 minutes of speaking time, I'd expect a good amount of, um, you know, talk, talk about policies, and I think a lot of people are going to enjoy that. Um, I was watching a daily show, and the one thing, you know, he cited was, like, was that there just wasn't many policies um, that anyone was talking about, so it'd certainly be um, an interesting night for night two. Hopefully, uh, Andrew Yang does step up and he gets the uh, speaking time that he uh, is allocated, as, as long as it's a very similar to night one. If we can use night one as an indicator, it's generally done a lot better in night two. Um, so it depends, like night two here was the four candidates, so you would actually spe expect that there would actually sit m more time allocated to these three, but even then, you, the middle crowd still had 10 minutes. So here, yeah, the middle was around, you know, if we average it out, six, seven, eight minutes, about seven, and here it was quite a significant difference because the D, well, NBC just happened to allocate more time and they allowed for too many interruptions. So it's, I think this time around CNN has done a terrific job and hopefully it's just, they're going to keep it up and the second night's just going to be just as well run, if not better. Um, well, until then, thanks for tuning in.